Take out the lagging. Disassemble horizontal and vertical flange bolts after installing crane. Take out the crossover pipe A. Disassemble horizontal and vertical flange bolts after installing crane. Take out the crossover pipe B. Disassemble horizontal and vertical flange bolts after installing crane. Take out the crossover pipe C. Take out bolts and nuts after unscrewing nuts. Disconnect the pipes from the casing. Disassemble oil deflector bolts. Take out the upper casing after disassembling front stander bolts. Disassemble the detector. Disassemble the vibration detector. Take out upper bearing after disassembling bolts. Push and take out the tilting pads from the home after taking out locking pins and taper threads plug. Take out the lower oil deflector after pushing up and spinning. Install the oil jack and the crane. Loosen hold down bolts. Install the assembly key after taking out the running key. Disassemble clamped high-temperature bolts of the HP outer casing. Take out the upper casing thermocouple and the jib key. Loosen horizontal bolts after disassembling vertical bolts of the packing casing. Lay down the upper casing on the base block, using the crane carefully after adjusting the level. Disassemble clamped high-temperature bolts of the HP inner casing. Install the oil jack and crane. 
Lay down the upper casing on the base block using the crane carefully after adjusting the level. Take out the upper nozzle box after disassembling nozzle box clamped bolts. Take out the gland packing head after disassembling gland packing head number 1 clamped bolts. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Take out the upper diaphragm after disassembling HP upper diaphragm clamped bolts. Push and take out the diaphragm packing segment rings from the home after taking out the diaphragm. Take out one by one slowly so that it won't touch the rotor during taking out. Disassemble the key. Disassemble bolts of the oil deflector and the bearing standard. Take out the upper bearing standard. Disassemble the vibration detector. Take out the upper bearing after disassembling bolts. Take out after pushing the tilting pads from the home after disassembling locking pins and taper threads plug. Disassemble the vibration detector. Take out the upper bearing after disassembling bolts. Take out after pushing the tilting pads from the home after disassembling locking pins and taper threads plug. Disassemble oil deflector bolts. Take out the upper oil deflector. Disassemble lower oil deflector bolts. Take out the lower oil deflector after pushing up and spinning. Disassemble lower oil deflector bolts. Take out the lower oil deflector after pushing up and spinning. Disassemble coupling guard bolts. Take out the upper coupling guard and then take out the lower guard after rotating half turn. Disassemble the key. Disassemble bolts of the oil deflector and the bearing standard. Take out the upper bearing standard. Disassemble the vibration detector. Take out the upper bearing after disassembling bolts. Take out after pushing the tilting pads from the home after disassembling locking pins and taper threads plug. Disassemble oil deflector bolts. Take out the upper oil deflector. 
Disassemble lower oil deflector bolts. Take out the lower oil deflector after pushing up and spinning. Disassemble coupling guard bolts. Take out the upper coupling guard and then take out the lower guard after rotating half turn. Install the oil jack and crane. Loosen hold down bolts. Install the assembly key after taking out the running key. Disassemble clamped high temperature bolts of the IP outer casing. Take out the upper casing key. Loosen horizontal bolts after disassembling vertical bolts of the packing casing. Lay down the upper casing on the base block, using the crane carefully after adjusting the level. Disassemble clamped high temperature bolts of IP inner casing. Install the crane on the IP casing. Lay down the upper casing on the base block using the crane carefully after adjusting the level. Take out the gland packing head after disassembling gland packing head number 3 clamped bolts. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Take out the gland packing head after disassembling gland packing head number 4 clamped bolts. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Take out the upper diaphragm after disassembling upper IP diaphragm clamped bolts. Push and take out the diaphragm packing segment rings from the home after taking out the diaphragm. Take out one by one slowly so that it won't touch the rotor during working. Disassemble the vibration detector. Disassemble bearing bolts and the taper threads plug. Take out the upper bearing ring. Take out the upper bearing after disassembling upper and lower bearing clamped bolts. Disassemble gland packing casing bolts.
Disassemble oil deflector and bearing stander bolts. Take out the upper bearing stander. Disassemble coupling guard bolts. Take out the upper coupling guard and then take out the lower guard after rotating half turn. Disassemble the vibration detector. Disassemble bearing bolts and the taper threads plug. Take out the upper bearing ring. Take out the upper bearing after disassembling upper and lower bearing clamped bolts. Disassemble gland packing casing bolts. Open the LPA casing manhole. Disassemble the keys after disassembling the rupture disc. Lay down the upper casing on the base block using the crane after separating the upper hood from the lower hood by installing jack bolt and guide bar. Take out the gland packing head after disassembling gland packing head number 5 clamped bolts. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Take out the gland packing head after disassembling gland packing head number 6 clamped bolts. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Open the manholes after loosening clamped bolts. Disconnect the pipes from spray water. Disassemble bolts of the inner casing in LPA. Disassemble outer bolts of the inner casing. Lay down the upper casing after separating from the lower casing down on the base block carefully, lifting it up using the crane, after installing guide bar and the oil jack at the LPA inner casing. Take out the upper diaphragm after disassembling LPA upper diaphragm clamped bolts. Push and take out the diaphragm packing segment rings from the home after taking out the diaphragm.
take out one by one slowly so that it won't touch the rotor during working. Disassemble the upper LPB in the same procedure, like the upper LPA. Disassemble the differential expansion detector. Take out the turning gear after disassembling turning gear bolts. Disassemble the thermocouple. Take out the upper thrust bearing after disassembling thrust bearing clamped bolts. Separate the coupling after disassembling coupling bolts of the rotor. Lay down the rotor on the base block using the lifting beam carefully when taking out the LPB rotor. Lay down the rotor on the base block using the lifting beam carefully when taking out the LPA rotor. Lay down the rotor on the base block using the lifting beam carefully when taking out the IP rotor. Lay down the rotor on the base block using the lifting beam carefully when taking out the HP rotor. Take out the lower bearing number one. Push and take out the tilting pads from the home after disassemble locking pins and bolts. Disassemble the lower gland packing head number one. Push and take out the packing segment ring from the home. Disassemble bolts which are clamped with HP lower diaphragm and the casing. Take out one by one carefully after separating from the casing. Push and take out the diaphragm packing segment ring from the home after taking out diaphragm.
Take out the lower nozzle box. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Take out the lower bearing number 2. Push and take out the tilting pads from the home after disassemble locking pins and bolts. Take out the lower thrust bearing. Take out the lower bearing number 3. Push and separate tilting pads from the home after disassembling locking pins and bolts. Disassemble the lower gland packing head number 3. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Disassemble bolts which are clamped with IP lower diaphragm and the casing. Take out one by one carefully after separating from the casing. Push and take out the diaphragm packing segment ring from the home after taking out the diaphragm. Disassemble the lower gland packing head number 4. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Take out the lower bearing number 4. Push and take out the tilting pads from the home after disassembling locking pins and bolts. Take out the lower bearing ring after taking out the lower bearing number 5. Take out the lower oil deflector. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Disassemble bolts which are clamped with the LP lower diaphragm and the casing. Take out one by one carefully after separating from the casing. Push and take out the diaphragm packing segment rings from the home after taking out the diaphragm. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. 
Take out the lower bearing ring after taking out the lower bearing number 6. Take out the lower oil deflector. Take out the lower bearing ring after taking out the lower bearing number 7. Take out the lower oil deflector. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Disassemble bolts which are clamped with LPB lower diaphragm and the casing. Take out one by one carefully after separating from the casing. Push and take out the diaphragm packing segment rings from the home after taking out the diaphragm. Push and take out the packing segment rings from the home. Take out the lower bearing ring after taking out the lower bearing number 8. Take out the lower oil deflector.